So you probably have heard that the tremendously common mining tool NiceHash is down because they've been hacked and you're looking for a quick and hopefully just a simple alternative, right? Well, the point of this video will be to walk you all through the potential options that exist for these easy one-click miners that can hopefully fill the gap for your crypto needs so you're not without your precious internet money for too long. We have three candidates to walk through today and I'm going to go through the pros, cons, and basic set of processes for them to hopefully walk you through it. But before we get into that, I want to express like I did in my noobs guide to Bitcoin mining that I'm not here to tell you what to do. This video exists to give you the best information that I can so that you can make your decisions yourself. Some of that information will be my subjective opinion, some of it will be the objective facts, but as far as recommending which is the best nice hash alternative, you'll have to work that out based on your actual needs. I just hope to help you make an informed decision by presenting the information in a clear and concise manner. I'm all about equipping you to make decisions for yourself and not telling you what to do. So with that out of the way, let's get into the nice hash alternatives that you can possibly check out to make up for your cold frigid rooms that no longer are burning those crypto watts to keep you warm. So let's take a look at the one that appears to be the most professional as far as the cleanliness of the interface is concerned. Minergate has a very clean aesthetic design, but it will require you to do a bit more work to get set up the nice hash. Whereas NiceHash took all your hashing power, no matter what cryptocurrency you were mining, and they paid you out in Bitcoin, MinerGate pays you out in the actual crypto that you're mining. So if you want to mine Ethereum, you need an Ethereum wallet address. If you want to mine Zcash, you need a Zcash wallet address, so on and so forth for a total of nine different cryptocurrencies. While this might seem daunting at first, the easiest way to make this work for you is to get signed up for an exchange that can provide you all of these wallet addresses. And then when you get the payout in Monero or Zek, you can convert them immediately on the exchange for your coin of choice. So this may be a bit more involved than with NiceHash, but it does give you the added benefit of decentralizing your currency into your own wallets and you don't have to worry about NiceHash holding all your coin and then running away with it. You can store it in your own places and have it secured the way that you want it to. Minergate does offer their own exchange, Changely, which may meet your needs for a crypto exchange, but I would personally recommend moving your currency out of their hands as much as possible, considering what just happened with NiceHash and the risk that comes from hosting your currency with someone besides yourself. The fees for Minergate appear to be fairly low. According to their fee chart, it's 1% for using their pay per last and shares method and 1.5% for their pay per share method. Minergate claims that you'll make more money using the PPL and S payout, claiming about 5% higher payouts than the PPS model, but it's up to you to see which one will work better for you over the long run. So the pros of Minergate so far are one, has a clean interface if a bit involved to get set up at first, Two, can mine in a variety of currencies and diversify your assets in different wallets. And then three, you can set your CPU cores, GPU percentage for mining, and have a lot of flexibility for how you want the miner to run and how many resources you want it to take up. Number four, it has low apparent fees, especially compared to NiceHash. And then finally, number five, it has a smart miner that can switch back and forth to the most profitable currency so that once you get all of the wallets and exchange things set up, you can just run it and you'll be golden. However, let's go over the cons. The biggest one is that at least from what I could see, the hashing rate is significantly lower than what I know my hardware is capable of. My Ryzen 7 1700 should be getting over 400 hashes per second with Monero, but Minergate only shows it getting about 150 to 200 hashes per second. My Vega 64 can hit nearly 2,000 hashes per second, but never topped above 1,000 with Minergate, and the similar story exists for my GTX 1080. No matter which GPU I used or what system I had the software installed on, my parts aren't reporting the proper hashing rate, which makes me super suspicious of their reporting software. It seems like they may be skimming a little off the top, but that's my speculation. The second con is that there's no estimated fiat currency payout representation. What I mean by that is that it will only tell you what your balance is in the crypto that you're mining, not the dollar amounts. And even then, it doesn't really indicate what your daily anticipated balance is, even in the currency that you're mining. It's a bit lacking on the information that's helpful for you to figure out profitability. You don't know how much of the coin you're going to mine over a given day. So summing up Minergate, it looks professional, it is highly customizable, but provides some screwy hashing rates and does little to help you figure out how much you'll be earning per day. The screwy hash rates is the most concerning part of this software and I wouldn't at all choose to use it for that specific reason. So let's move on to the second option in today's list, WinMiner. The software is pretty minimalistic and looks like someone with basic GUI training made it. It's not bad, just kind of lackluster. However, the website that you download it from looks super shady IMO. It looks like they're trying to sell you on some terrible pyramid or Ponzi scheme and has quite a few grammatical errors strewn throughout the entire page. They try to sell you on the economy of things being the way that the program works, just like Uber or Airbnb, which is a bit much and too millennial for me and not 
completely accurate for cryptocurrency mining. However, to their credit, they don't try to sell you on outrageous amounts in their FAQ, stating that between $10 to $80 per month can be expected from your computer, which most modern hardware components can actually do. So while the website's a little shady, it's not necessarily lying to you. The miner works as expected. You can set it to always run in farm mode. You can set manual mode to turn it on when you want, or set it up to run when the computer has been idle for a set amount of time. Regarding payouts, this is probably the most inclusive out of all the miners. You have the option of paying out to your PayPal account if your balance is over $20, to your Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Litecoin wallets as long as your balance is over $10, and to iTunes and Amazon gift cards, which are again at a $20 limit. The fees are a little high with WinMiner, with them quoting a 3% fee for everything that you mine, which is pretty significant, but not outrageous. WinMiner has benchmarks for all of the major algorithms that are being mined right now, but my confusion is that while it can mine Zcash or Monero with my Vega 64 and GTX 1080, it's chosen to run Zencash for the 1080 and PIRL for the Vega. Maybe these are the best after the fees that WinMiner charges, but from my calculation, my Vega 64 should be able to earn more than $2 per day with Ethereum or Monero, even though that's all it's earning with PIRL. All right, so let's break it down. The pros for me on WinMiner are, one, payouts to a variety of forms, including PayPal and Amazon, as well as standard coin wallets. Two, software is simple to set up, easy to use, and you have no need to create a wallet whatsoever. However, this is also a con, so I'll get to that in a bit. And then number three, the software gives you a good indication of how much you're earning per day and lets you know what to expect. And then number four, the web software is also pretty intuitive and helpful to make sure that you can manage all of your PCs mining at the same time so you can see if one's down, if one's up, it's actually pretty good. Okay, so now the cons. One, WinMiner has way too much control over what you're mining. You don't get representations of what you're earning besides in a fiat currency. Who knows how much they might be profiting over taking your PIRL and then flipping it for Ethereum or Bitcoin, but you still get stuck with the raw rate of PIRL. With NiceHash, it was at least based on the amount of value your altcoin had to Bitcoin since that was how you were getting paid out. I don't know if it's just me, but I don't like the fact that you don't have to create a wallet to use WinMiner. Although that would make it the lowest barrier to entry, I suppose. The con number two, the currencies that it's mining don't seem to be right given the type of hardware that I'm running. And I have no control over that. I can't specify the coins I want it to run. I can't make sure the algorithm is optimized the way I want it to. WinMiner does all of that for me and I have no access. For some of you, that's a pro, but given how NiceHash went down, I don't think handing more access over to companies is a good thing. So summary for WinMiner. Simple, really easy to use, some great variety in payout options, but way too much control taken by WinMiner and access restricted to its users. And now let's move on to the third, in my opinion, the most sketch option available. While the primary homepage for Cryptech seems clean and well-designed and the software is pretty simple to get going, it seems like they're not quite where they need to be for mass adoption. Currently, if you go to their frequently asked questions page, it's basically all in Russian except for a quick little piece that's telling you that there's an English version coming soon. And then while the software shows you the payout amounts and the currency that you specify, the web app defaults to the Russian ruble to display everything that you've been able to mine. As far as the miner itself, it's just actually about as minimalistic as the WinMiner app. You can get it to start with Windows, use the CPU, use light mode, which gives you some spare PC headroom if you want to use the PC while mining, and then also an inactivity sensor to start working when your PC is not being used. Payouts come in the form of Bitcoin or in the form of dollar if you want to use the Kiwi Visa wallet, a free online bank card that's tied to your phone number that I personally wouldn't trust with an 85 foot pole. I don't know about you, I don't trust online-only credit cards that are in dollars from a website that's clearly not in the U.S. Cryptech also doesn't give you a whole lot of information on the fees that they take or what currency you're mining, which really sucks for transparency reasons. At least with WinMiner, they tell you the currency. With Cryptech, you get nothing. And they also have a hugely shady referral system that gives you 10% of your friend's earnings if they start mining, which tells me that their cut has to be a heck of a lot higher than 10% to afford that. And given the $3.64 per day that it quotes me for my Ryzen 1700, GTX 1080, and Vega 64, it seems to be a 20 to 30% hit from WinMiner even. So pros, Cryptech appears to be the simplest miner out of the bunch to set up, but that's all the pros. Its cons are the lack of transparency on what you're mining, the lack of ability to change anything, and the clearly massive hidden fees that they're probably jacking from you to keep up this pyramid scheme as 10% referral amounts, even though they claim the invited person doesn't lose out on anything. While I don't want to tell you what to do for your mining, I can tell you that I wouldn't ever use Cryptech for my purposes, even if I got all 47,000 of my subscribers to sign up and give me their 10% referral bonus. This one is too closed off and lacks so much transparency that I can't trust them. So let's recap our options before the conclusion. 
One, MinerGate, the most customizable of the bunch, requires a few different wallet addresses and your own exchange, but doesn't really show estimated earnings, and the active hash rates appear to be way too small, at least on my end. But I've also heard reports that other people experience the same. Number two, WinMiner, a pretty closed off miner without a lot of transparency, but some pretty decent payout options, and a very simple to use, easy desktop and web application for a lot of information on how your mining progress is going. And then finally, Cryptech, number three, a simple to use, but far too suspicious miner that gives you the option of paying out in Bitcoin or some weird online Visa card thing. So which one would I recommend out of the three? Honestly, none of them. NiceHash actually had a great niche where it was a fully functioning miner with plenty of customizability and information to make informed decisions on what to mine. And it's pretty impossible to replace with any of the other three miners. They all have major flaws that turn me off to them. And that's one of the things that I would actually recommend to you all. You should likely stop relying on these one-click miners to actually get your mining profits. One, they are probably taking far too high of a cut away from what you mine. Two, you're handing over all of your control to another entity, which as we saw with NiceHash, makes you super vulnerable when you do that. I really recommend that you begin mining with specific algorithms on mining pools to actually be more in control of what you mine and how you mine it. And I hear some of you saying, Brilliant! I know all of this, but I want something that could switch out currencies for me so I don't have to maintain this. I'm a real miner, but I don't have the time to pay attention to the latest trends and what currencies are spiking. Well, random internet screecher, there are other applications that do that, such as Awesome Miner. It's far more involved than NiceHash ever was to get set up. You have to indicate what pools you want it to mine on and how you want to get it all set up, but once that's all put together, Awesome Miner will also automatically switch currencies for you. The free version of Awesome Miner allows you to set up profit switching on your pools, but then if you want to get even more in depth, their paid version allows you to set specific overclocking profiles for your GPUs once they switch miners so that you can always make sure you're mining your coins in the most optimized manner no matter what it switches to automatically. As I mentioned, Awesome Miner is far more involved, but as far as I can tell, they don't take a percentage fee of your mining, but if you want the advanced features such as the overclocking profiles, web management, and amp miner support, then you'll have to pay up for the software. There is a free version for us normies to just get set up and going without any fancy features, and you could definitely check that out. If you're looking for something that's simple to use once you get it set up and will switch currencies for you, and you can even optimize it so that you're earning the most on each coin, unlike with NiceHash, once it's switched miners, it doesn't matter if you're not optimized for Ethereum, it's gonna mine it anyways. But again, all of this is my suggestions and thoughts. I'm not trying to convince you into doing anything, but rather to help inform you on the options that exist. If you want a simple to use miner and you don't care about them having too much control or you touching the miner or anything that's hands-on, then WinMiner would be a great option for you. Or if you love things that resemble pyramids and multi-level marketing shams, then Cryptech could be your jam. Or if you want lower hash rate for the convenience of having payouts in specific currencies, then MinerGate might be your choice. I personally won't be jamming on any of them to earn my coin, but I hope that this video may have provided you with enough information that you can make the decision for yourself which is also why I won't provide you with affiliate codes to any of these services. I wanted it to remain as unbiased as possible in the hopes that you'll find the best thing for your mining needs. If you like this video and you appreciate the type of information I provide you with, be sure to smash that like button and get subscribed to stay up to date on all of our tech-related content. If you're interested in supporting us here at the UFD Tech Channel, you can use our Amazon affiliate code in the description to pick up any mining hardware that you might be grabbing in the upcoming weeks. It won't cost you anything, but it gives us a small kickback that helps us out a lot. And unlike with Cryptech, it doesn't look like a multi-level marketing sham. You can also support us regularly by becoming a patron over on Patreon. Patrons get behind the scene access to what we're working on, get to vote on upcoming videos, and so much more. So you can click this button right here or head on over to patreon.com forward slash UFD Tech to get signed up. Also, I just wanted to remind you all again of the giveaway that WooWare is running right now to help us celebrate passing 40,000 subscribers. They're giving away the Zotac 1070 Ti Amp Extreme to one of you lucky individuals. To get entered, all you have to do is head to the link in the video description to go over to the giveaway page. Giveaway closes on December 15th, so you have less than a week to get entered. Anyways, I'm gonna wrap this video up there. Let me know what you all think of these nice hash mining alternatives, either down in the comments or over on Twitter, I am at UFDisciple. I'm Brett with the UFD Tech Channel. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Cheers.